Bonjour. How are we all doing? If you're here nice and early, make sure to let me know in the chat. We'll see who's hanging out with us this evening and we will flip this around. Bonjour. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. What's up, Marie? I oh, look at you with your bronze badge, new icon. Yeah, I redid all the membership badges eventually. So the uh, there's different. The colours have changed slightly. So if somebody becomes a member and they're a brand new member, they get the the Joel Create logo as it is with the blue into the pink. Um, I think then if you are a second month or one month you move to uh, the green no the green or the orange i think it's the orange one of them and then you move to the green one and then once you move from the green one to the bronze they've completely changed now where they've got a bit more of a metallic look with the stars on them and stuff and then they they make their way up what's up milo what's up crash matt what's up tracy I'm re they look really cool though i just wanted to sort of change them up i realized they were the old logo for like so long so i thought well it's about time we sort of switched it around a little bit and uh, made them a little bit more sort of distinguished a little bit. The old ones didn't have the outline and stuff. You couldn't really see them if you're in like dark mode, light mode, whereas now you should be able to see them pretty good on each and every one. Which we use, use this one. So if you're here in the chat, be sure to let me know. I'd like to see who's hanging out with us in the evening. And if you are here for a brief second, if you could drop a like on the video, that'd be smashing. So lately I have obviously been using the Leatherwood brush quite a lot for like different painting designs and stuff. And so today I don't want So in the last, like the tutorial that's going live on Friday, obviously near two hours long. That's quite a big design, but I wanted to try and use something a bit like this. If we just take a look at the reference image alone, got really nice gradient. And the only thing we really need to do is the mountain and then the cloud work. So it's kind of like a, um, kind of like a more simplistic version of the painting. So maybe you shouldn't take as long, maybe. I don't like this double peak design. If I, for the one I'm gonna draw in a minute, I'm gonna do a single peak, uh, but something like that where we've got you know, something we can paint on and then just the cloud work and a nice gradient in the background would be really cool. So Crash Matt says, uh, honestly, been looking forward to this all week. Oh, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. I was talking to Mrs. Cray about this today because um, uh, there's often times where I think, well, maybe I'm not going to stream tonight. Maybe I'll just take the time off, etc. blah, blah, blah. But then I, I said to her, I said, you know, I realized that some people who actually like, like a show, I guess, almost like, have it sort of in their mind that it's Wednesday so be ready for a live stream sort of thing so I don't think it's fair to uh, you know be kind of lazy on my end sort of thing but I appreciate that Crash Matt I really do uh, Jeanette hello from Quebec hello from the UK Robin hi can't stay long it's late where I live Robin no problem at all I appreciate you dropping in just to say hello and if you drop a like on the video I'll be lovely Milo, how are you doing? And uh, Christian, good evening from Germany. Oh, tough day for the football for you. Good evening to you, Christian. Are you watching the World Cup or not? Well, you won't be now, will you? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Let's turn this light down a little bit. It's a bit bright. Is that better? It's a little bit better. Right, so yeah, that was my kind of concept really. Just wanted to continue on with the same sort of style that I've been doing recently, but in a different format. Maybe something a little bit more simplistic. So this is just a reference photo from Pinterest. Um, that's sometimes where I always go to get like design inspiration. So just bear that in mind. 
Robin says we'll do Belgium one candidate. Is that live now? Oh, I'll look after. I'll look after. I won't look now. Um, yeah. So I've got the palette already from this photo. I really like the colours. Maybe I'll adjust it. Oh, cool. Who scored? Could you let me know? That'd be magic. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, again, wanted to try and do something that in the same style, but maybe a little bit more simplistic kind of thing. Crash Matt says, yeah, I do miss the streams when you have time off. I uh, miss the community chat and understand that you need a break too. Yeah, I appreciate that you understand. I said this on the live stream that I was interviewed on, uh, not live stream, the podcast that I was interviewed on. Exactly that, that you guys are really understanding. You understand that sometimes when it's required, you know, exactly that it is required. Um just to take a break and uh, if you're not feeling it just like yourselves if you're not feeling it in the moment then you know it's kind of hard to force it at times so it's always good to have a break and not force it because otherwise you'll end up burnt out well I will anyway on this end and then you guys don't get any tutorials um that looks awful let's redo that I want something that's going to maybe give me more of a random look to it. Let's let's try that again, but maybe lower the uh, stabilization down. I always have my stabilization really high because I always am creating shapes that kind of need to be a little bit more perfect. So. I always forget that it is quite high and I could do with maybe just lowering it down for something like this. Drag and drop that in. That's not a bad shape. We've got this kind of nice ridge here that maybe we run down into this area here. Keep this in front. It kind of works. So those two peaks are a little bit too far apart for me. So I'm going to just move them a little bit closer. And let's get started on the gradient in the back. But I do appreciate. I do really appreciate it when you guys uh, understand the time off situation. Um, so obviously, it, I always make these streams pretty late here. Well, I say late, but it, it is half past eight here. So and, uh, it's getting on into the evening a little bit. Let's move that up a bit like so so we can make room for some clouds in behind and then we're going to make some space in front for some clouds as well which i think is sort of this set of colors i believe those sort of colors just on a separate layer yeah we'll just put mock in a gradient for a minute and then come back to it in a second so that's kind of your basic sort of uh layout and then we can go from there Crash Matt says, definitely, uh, you're not a dancing bear chained to the desk for your entertainment. At least, I hope not chained to the desk, unless you want to be, in which case you do. <laughs> Robin says, two hours ahead of you in South Africa. Oh, cool. We understand, Joe, that you need time after rest. Or it's, here. it's quarter two or 25 past four where you are in Puerto Rico. Let's carry on then with this. I don't know if I like that a little bit. Maybe that needs to be a little bit wider. Mm, that looks odd. Not in love with the shape, in all, in all seriousness, but we can make it work. Let's, let's maybe just, oh, wrong brush. Calligraphy, uh, monoline. So I recorded a tutorial today and it's the final one of 2022 on Patreon. So that was kind of cool. And it is a design exactly about that. I will say to you guys that, um, well, I have done in more recent times anyway, that I always kind of imagine life a little bit like a set of books and each year is a bit of a chapter 
unfortunately. Some people don't make it through to every chapter in your story. Uh, but each one is a chapter and so the design very much reflects that. Which is cool. I'm really glad I managed to get around to doing it. I've wanted to do it for a while. Um, I'm going to duplicate that for later. And I'm going to use it as a backup. And we'll alpha lock it. And uh, start adding in the leatherwood. I kind of want to see how quickly I can kind of get through this without it sort of really taking up a good chunk of time. So I'm going to use it about 3% and start to use it to block in some shapes. And we can really use that image there as a guide. I don't know where the lighting's coming from, so I don't necessarily have a lighted side. But looking at photos of like mountains and stuff, I know, I know, I know there is a pet peeve with the mountains and some people really hate them when I do them. I love them. I think they're obviously very beautiful. Um, but looking at a reference photo now and again can really help sort of get a gauge for like where you can maybe introduce little ledges and stuff and little dark patches, little brighter patches, just a little bit more guidance really. Uh, so yeah, that chapters, I'm calling it the chapters tutorial will be live uh, on Patreon at the end of the month, next month. I'm trying to get all the Patreon tutorials done uh, at a pretty good time before Christmas so that during the Christmas break, I'm not necessarily working as such. You know, all the content will already be done. I'm hoping to do the same for YouTube as well. That would be great if I can do that. Um, but the YouTube one's a bit tricky because um, I have to make edits in YouTube videos just before they go live pretty much. Well, not before they go live, before I share them because they, they have like patrons names in there and such. So, um, always have to sort of make edits right before the video is like distributed to say um, like early access and stuff like that. Yeah, I did an end of year tutorial, so I'm catching up with the chat. Crashman says about an end of year tutorial. So I did one on Patreon um this well the end of last year but for this year it will cycle right under here in a second you'll see it's like 2022 with like light bulbs in the framing and stuff that one there is also a christmas one as well the reindeer one that we did last year um so that's another sort of tutorial if you want to backtrack and take a look at uh the previous ones because they still apply obviously you just need to change 2022 to of course 2020 uh, three. So the technique still applies, it's just adjusting ever so slightly. But it will cycle. Hopefully I catch it at the in a second. My uh, every experience is a lesson. Love the idea. Exactly. And so how so to give you kind of a you can try and visualize it yourself. It's like a book and the book is open but on its last page and we're just the last page shows um 2022 the end full stop and then in the background of the design is a load of books on their side with the spines showing and each one of them is written with the the year so one for 2021 one for 2020 2019 and so on all the way back so um not forever but only just like a selection of like seven just as an idea so it's pretty cool i'm pretty happy to get it christian says better to take some time off than to get into hospital by not having some rest been there done that yeah exactly exactly that let's grab the base color again and hack away start creating some ridge lines so this like there's so many sort of random little ridge lines in here that you could probably start to maybe like scatter this brush like crazy just over the whole thing and just give the whole design like a really big cutaway, maybe about 3%. Like this looks crazy, but it, it makes so much sense to me how it works now. And then like changing your angle of your brush. So you kind of go in the opposite angle now, you're gonna create lots of ridge lines. So to start with, it kind of looks a bit crazy and a bit mad that you would kind of like hack away at all of your work that you've done, but it makes perfect sense in terms of what the effect is and what it achieves 
Right now it doesn't look like much, but once we build up the other textures and stuff, it's going to come to life, um, the other colours, and literally just break that right up with some of the original base colour. Leave a lot of the colour in there after, or maybe even revisit the colour. It will all come, it will all come through. What's up desert, how you doing? Crashman says, ah Joel, that sounds amazing and so interesting. Looking forward to it, gonna try the deer at the weekend hopefully. Ah, awesome, awesome. Uh, next tone, is this one here? Let's go ahead and start working this in. So I've not done a mountain as such. We've done obviously different rocky areas and whatnot with this kind of effect. So I'm hoping I can do it some justice. If uh, Marie's still here, how was your live stream last night? I caught a little bit of it last night. For those of you that don't know, one of our uh, fellow patrons is also a YouTuber herself. She's bigger than myself as well, so she is my guru. But uh, you can make sure to go and follow Marie over on her YouTube channel. I have to learn to create different ridge lines in here that like go against the styling a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to like focus a light side and a dark side. This one doesn't, I can't work out, the lighting almost looks like it's coming from underneath, which I don't really like that much. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed your stream. I'm gonna redo that. Alpha lock it, go back to that colour. I want to try and purposely define some edges a little bit better. So maybe like a big ridge line here. Maybe even just come across this one. I might have to make this a little bit bigger. Gamble on the... That's better. So I can kind of get an idea now for my light side versus the, the dark side of the mountain. I think that's going to be a better um, way of doing it. I can get more of an understanding then as to what's going on. Maybe we come down here. Maybe actually that's like a little bit more sort of down here, like a bit more vertical, runs up into there. Couple of different ledges. That looks a little bit better. You can kind of see that sort of shadowed side a little bit better. Reduce the brush size down to about 3%. And we're going to start to create a little random ledges in here this is the thing with like a mountain design like this it's kind of tricky to kind of create a whole landscape but the randomness of the brush should help a little bit with that yeah that's coming along nicely Love the painting tutorials. The new Patreon one is a joy. Ah, awesome. Have you completed it already, Milo? I guess it came out pretty... Wait. Oh, I guess it came out on Tuesday, didn't it? It came out yesterday. I keep thinking I'm a week behind almost. Well, I'm glad you're, in you're enjoying it. The, uh, the trees take a little while to do. But as somebody said to me last week, I can't remember who it was. Was it might even be in Crash Mat? I can't really remember said uh, to stop apologizing in these tutorials that take a little bit longer. It is what it is and it will be what it be. And it makes perfect sense. So I will stop. I'm gonna run the odd sort of vertical line in here just to create some connections in there. That's gonna to come together shortly. God, itchy neck. We've got to hack away at this in a minute. Are you about to finish it? Awesome. Crash Matt says, still loving the thumbnails, but I think you should grow your hair out and get a puff. After my wedding, I'm going to um, grow my hair out again, I think. I think. That's it. I want to say thank you for noticing the work of your followers on Instagram and leaving your feedback. It's very important, especially to those of us who are just starting to draw. I appreciate you sharing it with me in the first place and spending the time of your own time to finish my tutorial. So... It is greatly appreciated back. 
Julie, what's going on? Julie says that's some thumbnail you got this week. Well, this is a re. This still the. Is it the Bob Ross one? I can't remember. I did a Mona Lisa last week, and then the week before was the Bob Ross one again. I need to get like about five or six put together, really, that I can just cycle them around. I appreciate it. Robin, I second what Desert says. It's really fabulous that you always comment. I try my best to do it as every single one. I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do for the first 15 minutes is just go back onto Instagram and uh, <laughs> read everybody's tags that they tag me in. And I worry one day I'm gonna like, I'm commenting and I'm like half asleep, I'm like, commenting on my way and uh, I'll just write half a sentence or something or something completely different, like autocorrect or something. It'd be a horrendous experience for someone. But that is the start of my day. And again, I spoke about this on that podcast that I was on is spending the time to constantly reply to comments. I'm in a very lucky spot with this this type of YouTube where we we have like um, a full circle experience in a way. You guys watch my videos and you then tag me in your creations from that video, which I get to see, which is great. And then I get to then rep, uh, you know show some love back once again. Um, to you for you spending the time to do it so we're kind of lucky in that sense that we can have that kind of like connection and stuff because in other bits of youtube you simply just watch a video and you're done you know you move on to the next video straight away sort of thing so um it's cool it's really cool really cool Uh, I gotta remember that this is the base color and not get carried away with its positioning too much. How's life, Julie? As well. How's your moving in? Is that all finished and settled in now? Marie says, yeah, I don't care how long mine are, but I'm shortening them because it's too much to edit. Is that your videos you mean? <laughs> or your live streams? Do you edit? You don't edit your live streams. Crashmate says, good point, Nizza. I just started uh, sharing on Insta and tagging creators. Oh, they'll all see it. There's loads of them try their best to always make sure that they uh, uh, respond to everybody's comments. Uh, Crashmate says, it always amazes me looking through tag posts on Instagram and seeing individual style come through on your same drawing. Yeah, it's pretty cool to um, looking at the tag videos quite frequently. There is so many different variations of people's work in there, which is so cool. Um, again, I need to not get carried away in the details here, but just start to block in some color and we'll hack away at it after. Maybe I need to make like a hacking away at it tutorial, uh, not tutorial, t-shirt or something. And I trust the process one. I like that idea a lot. I'm just going to sort of splash in the tiniest little bits in these areas over here. Maybe the odd little sort of stone or rock that's just catching some light. And then also I want to try and send some rock the other way as well. I'm not sure how this is going to look by doing this. And again, I've not drawn a mountain in this particular style before, so I'm hoping it comes out okay. We'll see. This is a, a learning experience for us all. Just a couple of sort of scratches the other way will do the trick. I believe. What other colours do we have? We've got like a really nice pinky tone and then these lighter ones as well. That's cool. Uh, all settled in, quite lonely at times though and the puppy is absolutely destroying the place. What name did you go with in the end for the puppy? Uh, wedding plans are good. Mrs. Cray has absolutely smashed it. Anything I'm responsible for is our honeymoon. Planning that. And uh, now I've asked my groomsmen party for all of their attendances as ushers and whatnot. We, um, I can finally start getting my suit sorted, which I'm going to go do this weekend. I already know what it looks like um, and which one I want. Maybe I'll share a picture on Discord or something at some point. Um, 
But yeah, it's going really well. Going really well. I'm waiting for something to maybe go wrong, but I hope not. This is Korea is smashing it. Okay, now I need to aim for some ridges in here. Maybe reduce this down a little bit, get a, try and get a little bit more detail, a little smaller sections. Making the brush a bit smaller gives off some really great detail. You'll see that in this week's YouTube tutorial. So if you like this kind of style, there is plenty more coming this, this week. Let's go across, creating some different angled lines, breaking up the rock look, trying to leave little bits of residue. I need to be more aggressive with creating like big dark areas. You know, getting in here, hacking away to create areas of light and dark. So not being afraid to just leave a section completely sort of bare like this. And then maybe even just like hacking away into maybe here. Trust the process and the Apple Pencil or something we need on a hoodie. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? We could kind of incorporate into the Joel Create logo a little bit. Oh, Marcel has just joined the family over on Patreon. Congratulations, Marcel. If you are here in the chat, I appreciate you. Welcome to the family. Enjoy the tutorials, as always. Tracy says, would love to stay longer, but got to go. Been great, thanks. Tracy, I appreciate you hanging out. If you want to watch this back tomorrow, you can do, because it stays up on the channel. His full name is Theo Joel Wilde. <laughs> really? Damn. I don't think I'd trust a man to organize a honeymoon. Either you're good or she's brave. Nah, I know what I'm doing. Listen, there are trousers to be worn, but now nah, I wear them. What's up, Funky? Nah, she's not brave, Sonia. Nah, she, um, she trusts me to do what I gotta do. It's I'm a pretty. I know I, I know what I want. The thing is, I know what I want to do. I know what I want for the honeymoon and what we want to do. So, um, that plays a pretty critical factor in, in the whole thing. <laughs> but if any of my Canadian friends are here, I'll be over at your place. I'll be over your way. <laughs> I'm not going to skate dance. <laughs> I think we're going to Canada. So I need a I need a Canadian family of subscribers to uh, look after me for a week, two weeks. Now I'm trying to be a bit more accurate with some of these lines and stuff at the top here. I'm not fully in love with it and maybe I will have to maybe start to go back and reintroduce some more colour like I'm doing now, just trying to create my own mountain. This is just as a guide. It's not the one I'm trying to specifically make. It's just as kind of a visual aid to get a guide for like, you know, certain quirky sort of things you can do with creating sort of the landscape of a mountain because it is a bit of a bugger sometimes. But this tone's quite nice, so it's, it's playing out quite nicely. It's all good, Funky, it's very good, thank you. Thank you for asking. I see you are getting hot now on adding in the sort of sneak peeks of your Patreon tutorials over on your Instagram page. Guys, if you haven't already, please go and uh, follow, subscribe to Funky's uh, YouTube channel and Patreon. Uh, 
uh, it is getting there and I do quite like that we've got a dark side and the light side so I might try to play on that a little bit more. Try and block in some larger areas towards the bottom here as the mountain kind of runs out maybe. A bit brave with dropping in some of this. The only thing with hacking away at it in certain the tutorials and stuff is sometimes it might not give the right look. So we do have to try and see where it where we can apply this new style of mine into tutorials. Maybe the odd little sort of zigzag and stuff here is actually doing the effect I need. It's creating really nice little random sort of ridge lines and stuff, which is cool. Robin says, I really like, I really need to change my name on YouTube. I go by Rob's. Robin is so formal. I might start just calling you your full name, you know. Roran Lipner. We'll just go, we'll go, we'll go all in. Full names only from now on. Everyone. Thank you, Milo. I appreciate it. Can you drop the link in for Funkies as well, please? That'd be awesome. Thank you. Little Skeg Vegas, no? Yeah, right. Ah, awesome. Good to hear you are... I feel like you're on like a little bit of focus at the minute, I guess, or something like that. A little bit of drive. I don't know. You tell me. Organisation, I guess, you also said there. So maybe that's the right word. It's like your mum telling you off. <laughs> thank you milo i appreciate you drop in the link in guys if you could so if you like my tutorials and you like procreate tutorials funky also creates tutorials as well so please be sure to subscribe to funky's youtube channel as well if you want even more content tutorials i'm gonna try and give this maybe a bit more of a bigger coat maybe almost like a snowy peak up here I'm going to maybe completely go against the photo. It's getting there. It's got kind of detail in it, but I don't know if I like it right now. We'll see how it goes. I need to like maybe build up some ledges here and there. But the thing with this, and just like you'll see in this week's YouTube tutorial when it goes live, the, um, the cave one from last week's live stream, um, once you start to add in your highlights and you like, so I've gone highlight color to highlight color so i've gone straight in with this lighter tone again once you then add the shadows into that it looks great but straight away it can look a little bit um like it's getting too light you know it will get there it will get there and then let's switch back to the base color and start hacking away into this Unless it's my mother, then she has to go through the entire family before she remembers my name. That happens all the time to me. All the time. Mm, not entirely in love with it. I think there's loads of stuff we can maybe do. I oh, like it. Uh, you never like it at this stage and two hours later, like it's a masterpiece. You are, you're probably right. I think again, this style, this particular style, it because it is such a process, it can be, it can just, it can just, it, you want it to get straight to the bit that you, you're going to enjoy, but you can't. You've got to put the work in. So that's always my challenge, isn't it? Also, I'm curious, to be honest, if I'd have made the brush a little bit bigger at the beginning, would it have looked better? Uh, a simple reason why is if I'd have made the brush bigger at the beginning, it could have got rid of a few of these kind of repeating lines and stuff in the in the mountain. Yeah, I'm not sure. It is very versatile. It's very versatile. Let me catch back up. It's Sona. Oh, sorry. 
Why do I keep saying Sonia? Jesus. And you're in Toronto. Well, you better get your uh, put me up bed ready. And I'll be over the, in Canada late next year. I think if I do the clouds and stuff, it may it may start to come back to something I actually like the look of. What's up, Jay? Whoever's name she says first is usually the favorite, by the way. Are you always the last name? Oh, yeah. Well, okay, well. Cheers, Julie. Now I've got some real psychological issues now. Being brought up in, you know, past traumas, maybe. Carl, <laughs> you're really making me question my identity as a person now. Yes, those ridge lines in the opposite direction look good. Some of them do. I might do all of this base work and then just add a nice snowy top on it. I think. What colour do I have now? See, now I have this pink colour. So now I feel like I could maybe go in with like the leatherwood at a really small size and make this my bright highlight. So like I'll make it on a separate layer and make the brush really small and now I'm going to have to get really sort of granular with splashing in some highlight on like the left edges and making them look a little bit brighter facing the light source. And the odd little random speck here and there that's just catching some light. Or do I do it like that and do I back off of that a second let's just clear that layer maybe we just go like airbrush soft airbrush and kind of just give it like a nice light haze almost it's gonna look kind of hazy later on anyway with the clouds so maybe this is kind of the look we want to go for maybe not quite as strong as that all that but just a little bit of haze up and down that side maybe what if we were to add in like a, a snowy cap almost at the top of this maybe like the medium brush and just well make that a bit bigger really try and make it nice and light down this back edge what if i make that even bigger than that and try and block in some some snowy side up here Let's just try and gauge what this is going to look like. And is there a layer effect I could make that look like any brighter? Hold fire, folks. Hard light looks pretty close to normal. But I think it does change the colour. Does it change the colour? Vivid light looks great, but it's too much. I'm thinking hard light with this and then go into the leather wood and just chopping away into that in the darker spots. So I'm actually going to have to use the eraser instead. Try this. Is going to, see, that's going to be really like contrast. Too high. What if we delete that layer and that one? Create another new layer. Go to this color first. Maybe if we leatherwood it and then let the leatherwood 
see the snow up here so it can, it can be kind of blurry if you make the brush size big enough what if we do something like this and then hack away at that afterwards but after we add this light tone on top again We'll be back with you in just two seconds folks let's just see how this goes let's grab the eraser give it a bit of a chop over break up some edges break through some color here and there and then what if we gauge and blurred that it does look nice and soft, but I'm not sure. That's too bright. Not enough of it. Let's catch back up with where we are. Oh, we missed Rob. Sorry, that's my fault. Sona says, I want to join Patreon, but I make it in iPhone with my finger. You can still follow exactly the same tutorials. They work exactly the same. You can obviously use all the, the a lot of the tools that you use on uh, Procreate also are available on Pocket. They're just like in menus ever so slightly differently. So um, yeah, just bear that in mind. It's, but it, it works exactly the same. Exactly, Julie, exactly. Jace is beautiful painting, uh, not feeling well today, so I might not chat much. That's all good if you just want to hang out. Oh, funky, come on. <laughs> what are you going to say yet? I'm going to I'm going to roll with that sort of uh, idea of the snow but just see how I can get it to maybe land a little bit better than the last one. So we've kind of got the rock look through it at the base like underneath there's like a, a foundation color. Maybe I need to create like a, a darker more blue tone here maybe cuz the best thing with uh, to learn with Adding on snow, by the way, is that you should never really use white. And if you do, it shouldn't be too often. It is very much the last color you add on, if at all. Um, a lot of the time with snow, it tends to look better if you use a off-white tone. Looks a little bit more realistic. Um, let's see if we can kind of get this looking okay. That looks nice if we actually just fully block in a side profile almost of the mountain. And then what if we, that's on a separate layer, so we use the leather wood again and just hack away at it. Let's let's keep that in there nice and, nice and solid. But just maybe hacking away into these areas a little bit more, maybe even coming across. Now that does get rid of a lot, but I maybe go back in in a second and just this is that whole process of building up the color. I'm wondering if I can maybe go back in now with this color and block it in again, leaving that little bit of residue always behind, which builds up color because we're at 75%. So every time we hack away into the 75%, we leave a little bit left behind. And so by leaving a little bit behind, you're leaving more detail that's eventually going to get picked up so 
Yeah. What's up, Melissa? How are you doing? Been missing Bob Jar Ross. How's life? Wait, did I just miss like a really crappy joke? What do you call a snowman in a, a, a puddle? What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? Wait, who said that? Crash map. Sophisticated. How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? You follow the Fresh Prince. I don't think I want to do this anymore. I think I want to maybe pack it in. <laughs> oh no, I love the jokes, Julie. Really. They're wonderful. No, they're so terrific. Simply wonderful. <laughs> this mountain's gone in completely a different direction. Can't stay away from a snowy mountain, can I? So this isn't quite white, it's uh, like a quite light purple tone. I'm wondering if I can get away with couple of splashes of this at the top here. Try and like brighten up the very top peaks a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, back to the drawing and that. You guys are tragic, you know that. <laughs> Jesus, I am not in love with this at all. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like a certain thing I need to implement in some way and I just don't know what it is. Horizontal lines across maybe. Maybe this effect just doesn't work for this style, and that's fine. At the minute, I'm kind of just sort of chucking everything at the palette, at the palette, at the design, and just seeing what kind of sticks a little bit, and seeing what I do in donut, doing doing donut. Oh, I love a donut right now. Doing donut like oh, I'm just gonna roll with it. What I do in donut like, so they look kind of good with the large sort of streaks through. They actually look quite nice. They leave like a really big chunky cutout and nice deep grooves along the side here. What's up, Bart? How are you doing? What are you talking about, Joe? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. I don't know why I don't like it. Maybe if we introduced like a pink airbrush maybe underneath here. Yeah, that looks quite nice. 
just to sort of brighten up that left hand side make it look like it's facing the, the sun somewhere on the left that looks a lot nicer do I need to do I need to get into the clouds and then I'll be happy because I think they are like a big part of this um, these wispy kind of mount, uh, mountain sort of uh, clouds so we're going to put some in front and we're going to put some in behind as well so maybe that will change my opinion a little bit question is do I do them manually or do we use the clouds brush and just take that and use it to our advantage Fave type of donut? That's a good question. I I'm not I, I don't always like a chocolatey donut. I can't lie. They've got these raspberry cheesecake ones down the road from my place. Mm -hmm. They're good. I like I like fruity flavoured stuff without having to like literally chop into a large chunk of fruit kind of thing. If that makes sense, it's like having yogurt without the bits in. Like you like the taste of the fruit yogurt, but you don't want to have um, the bits in it. Does that make sense? Or like fresh orange juice. I can't have fresh orange juice. I'm actually weirdly allergic to fresh orange juice. But there is, you know, that kind of same logic for normal people unlike me. Where's this clown's brush at? Am I nuts? I've got rainforest. Elements. Ah, elements. That's the one. So this will look kind of cool and we can use the clouds brush to our benefit here. Just let that sort of really haze upwards. And the best thing with the clouds is if you start to build it up so that you get like a little bit of depth here. They always look really cool. Elements. You know what you're doing, Melissa. You know what you're doing. Jam donuts are pretty naughty one little one. See, the thing is, right, and Funky, you, anyone from the UK will understand. <laughs> Back in my day, when I was younger, you buy a donut from a shop and it would be, it'd be, it'd be plastered, absolutely plastered with sugar. Proper sugar, big granular sugar, crunching your teeth kind of sugar. But now we've got this flowery, light, sort of, I don't know, I guess very 2022 probably sugar free flavor free fun free happiness free sugar that goes around these donuts it's bloody awful it's absolutely rubbish back in the day you wouldn't sleep for six hours at least like from that donut on if you had a donut in the evening you'd see through to the next day but now you get you get an inkling of what a donut used to be do you know what i mean kids these days don't understand that's what they think donuts are but back in our day i mean the blue smarties back in our day, you had a cup, you had one too many of them, you'd be seeing your future. Do you know what I mean? They were sick. The amount of E numbers that were in those things back then was amazing. But the it's they just everybody ruined things, okay? Why can't things be fun? Why can't things be fun anymore? I just want a I want I want a, a, a huge sugar spike in my system. That's all I want. Okay? Now all I've got to do is just have a couple of coffees and it gives me a little bit of happiness. It's just a joke. It pees me off. Okay, so I'm so this is from Crash Matt, so I feel like I'm gonna get judged here, but there's a place that does salted caramel top custard filled donuts. Nah, that's see that's the absolute that's the beautiful thing. Salted caramel on anything. Beautiful. Bart says, Are you allergic to other berries too, Joel? Like I'm allergic I'm allergic to berries, but I love them. No, I'm not allergic to berries, it's just literally fresh orange juice. Like hundred percent fresh orange juice is just apparently not something I can have. Yeah, I'm proper fuming about the donuts, Julie. Because they used to be fun. I'm mad mad. <laughs> the 
the reason things aren't fun anymore, and only people really from the UK may understand this, is because of Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver ruined everything. Trying to get us all to be healthy and that. So let us be happy. We're only here for a short time. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So Bart says the same thing about Jamie Oliver. If Jamie Oliver comes in this chat, he's getting banned immediately. If you can lip read, you know what I said, but I'm not going to say it again. Do we keep these really nice kind of uh, quite defined um, clouds at the bottom here? Or do we go for like smoother, softer ones? I can get a couple of like stray ones up there. I kind of just want to go back in with the two colours and uh, let them kind of like rest on top of one another. So let's undo that. Let's go for like a line of these lighter ones here and then increase the size and come across the bottom here. We have a, a larger one. So maybe like these quite defined ones look quite nice, I guess. It's nice and easy. This is what I want to do, isn't it? For the This is what I need to remember is being this for a YouTube video i want to try and keep this process a little bit easier a little bit quicker so maybe grab that in the back i have to say like there maybe i like them be All right, let's get back over into the, the back section here. Make the clouds a bit smaller, maybe. And try and give the impression that there's a bit of distance further back. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but we'll see how it goes. Let's try to replicate that same effect of a few clouds just rolling in here. So I'm going to grab like a lighter colour and just try to bring in some cloud work, maybe even on the edge as well. And then switch to the lighter tone so I can just pop that on the top. That does somewhat give that nice little effect. And it's very sort of hidden in the clouds. I kind of like that. I quite like that. Don't you change your name, Bart. Don't you do it. Cashmark says, that's why I love them. Um, I go to the US and there's no ban on e numbers. The first stop is a Walmart for snacks and I'm bouncing off the walls in minutes. Bart says, no more. No poor Jamie, no Julie. That is not allowed. He ruined Iron Brew. You can get... <laughs> Use the soft airbrush for the ones in between. It's a good idea. I like that. Well, so just the soft airbrush in that space, you reckon? Yeah, come on, guys. We've got to reel it in from the e-numbers chat. We've got to reel it in a little bit. Got to remember to do this. In a minute, I'm actually going to scrap the whole thing and do it again. Genuinely. <laughs> Oh, what do you mean? Is in to like separate the back just where, or just just add the soft brush in there? I am actually scrapping the whole thing in a second. And oh, what is in? You mean to literally break that back mountain off from the front mountain and then put a light haze in between them to separate them? It's not a bad idea actually on its own actually. No, I will be scrapping the whole thing and doing it in a minute. Because it just needs to be redone. I want to I wanna redo the process of that top section of the mountain and do it again. Oh. 
fuck off. Thanks, my like. I can see you deleting their messages. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm lost by your comment, Melissa. I don't know what you mean. Like, uh, on top, I d yeah, it's kind of hard for me to understand what you mean in terms of where to put it. But I hear you. I hear your concepts. Maybe we actually do work on that in the same way in terms of soft airbrush. No, that one's, oh, that's because I moved straight to that color. Yeah, you could kind of do that, fade that in a little bit better. As a tutorial though, I think this will look really cool. I think at the minute, like this front layer is too low. Like that could honestly be a bit higher to try and just give it more of a cloudy look. It's kind of close to what I want to do, but it's not at the same time. I like how those clouds look, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, I want to use those clouds brushes just to speed the process up a little bit. Because really at this stage, it, you could argue it's done for the fact that everyone can pretty much get that done and achieved. And then using a brush is nice and quick and easy. I'm wondering whether or not we can do something different here, actually. If you were to flip that gradient the other way and have the sun lower and a darker point towards the top, I'm not sure if that looks better or worse. Like if I was to put that like there, for example, maybe even drag that out a little bit so that the sun's like lower. Yeah, how it was before was that the, the lighter tone was above. It looks okay. Okay, let's duplicate the entire design. Group that, duplicate. Let's just call this one original. And then this one's the one I'll work on. Uh, we've got the other one above to look at. I can leave the clouds in the back. Now, the only thing I think I might do is separate the mountains immediately. So I'm going to delete that layer, turn this one on. This might look a little bit mad, but what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to, we did quite a lot there in that first one that I want to try and understand what it was I did that I was happy with. So just trying to go back over myself and work out what it is I wanted to keep and what I don't want to keep. Um, cut and paste, move that underneath that. That's nice. So now those two are separate. So now we can work on each one individually. Let's alpha lock the layer and get straight back into the painting. So I'm wondering what I can do to maybe speed that up a little bit. Also what I can do to learn from the first time. So this is actually something I always do in terms of, I might draw something like three or four times before I'm happy with it and then um, introduce it into a tutorial kind of thing. Welcome Fabio. Oh, was that a subscriber? Sorry, did I miss that on the screen? Can't hear the notifications anymore. Fabio, there we go. Refresh that. Okay, so let's go again. Let's make the brush size about sort of 7% and see if we can rock through it. So I know what I did last time. 
and we're going to try and do the same thing. So we're going to block in a good chunk of color at the top here. I'm going to kind of leave this area over here nice and dark, if not with the odd little sort of liner, stone line almost going this way. Let's get down this edge here too. Oh, that one's a bit too low. So I'm, I've made the brushes a bit bigger on this occasion, so maybe I can sort of bulk in the colour a little bit quicker. Let's go base colour. Let's then hack our way into the design, leaving that little bit of residue in behind. Working out what we want to keep, what we don't want to keep. Creating more vertical lines in here. We'll add some nice ridge lines in there. I'll break that up. It'll give me a bit of a stony look to it. What if you made the mountains a little further apart? That way the clouds will be in the middle. That's a good shout. Now that that's separate, I might be able to do that in a second. So I'm just trying to get the colour in kind of quick. Let the brush do the work. Let's get back to the base color, hack away into that again, creating those lines of the way that we want to follow the motion. Try and be a bit braver in certain areas, maybe. For anyone who's brand new to the streams or relatively new, Melissa, who's in the chat right now, is the one who outed my identity and what I actually look like. So I was dragging it out for ages. I was, I, my old very first set of streams all used to just be um, top down shots only. So you only saw this camera. And uh, Melissa, right at the end of a live stream, saw that back in the day, I would comment in Patreon, Facebook group, Patreon. Procreate Facebook groups as myself and not as um, not as uh, Joel Create. And she had a screenshot of exactly my Facebook profile and dropped it in the Discord right at the last minute, right at the end of a stream one day. And uh, so she is responsible for this camera there, single-handedly. She's referred to a lot of the time by everybody else as Queen Melissa for exactly that reason. There's a little bit of history of the stream. God, blimey, we've been doing this for ages, haven't we, really? These live streams now. Feels like it. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, she did. She, what did I even say? I can't remember what specifically I might have said at the time, but I do remember swearing at her. Not directly at her, but in context as to uh, the scenario. Okay, now we'll go in with the, the purples and try and replicate it a bit better so maybe a bit more horizontal on this occasion so you'll often hear me in the streams talk to myself in kind of this way because i watch them back sometimes to know what i did in certain designs so like a little bit more horizontal here will be great joe if you could do that smash in back in with the base color breaking that out giving it a nice light coat Not getting rid of all of it, but getting rid of enough of it. That's coming along quite nice. <laughs> I did. Oh, you... Yeah, I remember that. Was you big mad? I wasn't big mad at all. I was dragging it out for as long as possible. But, uh... It's just fine. It was going to happen eventually anyway. I think when like I first started though, I wasn't quite as like up for the concept of the whole thing, but eventually it just kept happening, kept being requested and here we are. So I knew, it, I knew it was inevitable, but it was kind of like when, as and when, if and when. 
Because there was a period where I was kind of like, maybe I never will. It's a good thing. Now, again, I spoke about it on that podcast. I know I bring that up all the time, but it was a great conversation um, of like how it then changed things. What's up, punk? What are you drawing now? Oh, yeah, drawing a mountain design. Let's do a little sprinkle of this colour in here too. Just a couple of spots of this pink tone. No, um, no. Well, actually, you somewhat are, I guess, but not so much like to the context. Um, it was. Um, he, I actually mentioned the story of how it came about with the face cam. So um, you could kind of say you are in that podcast, really, but just not by name. But yeah, I do mention um, having my identity leaked, I guess, in that podcast. That's too much. But that is the look I want to go for. That looks okay, but it's again still a little bit too bright, maybe. What if we hacked away into this a bit more? And maybe even into that. That actually does look quite cool because it gives some like it gives me like the final sort of highlights and shadows. Like these are really contrast strong. Making the brush nice and big and just running it randomly like that does actually give quite a nice effect. I'm scared to show my mug. No, it's, it, 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 it can be daunting at the beginning, for sure. What you should do, Funky, is if you want some confidence in it, is we could do a live stream, a joint one, and then you've got someone to bounce off of. Jay says, "Any regrets about do uh, any regrets about it, Joe? Nah, not at all. Not at all." I mean, obviously, like, I can't go to the shop anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't even buy a bottle of milk anymore. So, yeah, it, it swings in roundabouts. Do you know what I mean? But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's pros and cons, pros and cons. Do you know what I mean? No, nah, no regrets. I said it again, and it, it's a good thing, because if you, you're kind of taking your, your skill set as, a, I guess, a YouTuber to another level of being like, um, my tutorials are all top-down shots, aren't they? So... When it now allows me, it allowed me to do, and I wanted to do it anyway, more like product videos and stuff, where it's like, uh, you know, kind of like um, all the other videos that I've done, such as like product reviews and stuff like that, where I'm in the frame or my Procreate 5.4 uh, uh, requests, you know, features and stuff. Like it's something like that, that you then get unlocked to do. It also then makes these easier as tutorials because I'm not even in it. So it's even like a, even less to do, if that makes sense. I'm just, it's even easier. So yeah, I, would, I think it's really good for people's confidence for sure. You see what happened with AI? I did not. There's plenty of that though on a daily basis a lot of the time. Crashman says, I think I'd only be worried from a crazy's point of view. I guess you're online anyway, so it's kind of the same. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously things I will keep like to myself, my personal life and stuff. But you know, I'm happy to come on here and talk about whatever now. And you know, little things like referring to Mrs. Create as Mrs. Create rather than her actual name and stuff like that. You know, Marley's given a link to the podcast. I appreciate that. Is that on their YouTube channel? Is it? I didn't even. I oh, know. I didn't. Did I know that they do that? No, I did. 
Yeah. I don't think they get quite as many views as like Spotify and stuff. Their joint stream is a good idea. It's going to be fun. Crash Mat, surely you have people to go the shop for you by now. Oh yeah, for sure. So like every time I only need anything, like I just send like an order to Julie and she gets it ordered for me. She drops it off at the door. She waits at the end of the path. I open the door and she just gives me a wave and then a low hoo, and then she runs away. That's kind of what happens every time. And then I grab my shopping and I put it in the house. That's about it really. Melissa says like uh, even in the U even in the US people are like man <laughs> shut up. I listen to that podcast every week. It's so informative. It's great to hear other people. It's awesome. Uh, this one looks quite nice. Should we have a quick glance at what the previous one looked like? Oh okay. Wait, turn off the clouds a second. Oh, wrong low. Um, let's turn off these clouds at the front. Okay, so I did have the dark side on there and whatnot. Okay, it's very similar, except we added in some of the brighter peaks right at the end. So there must be a tone. Oh, it's this one here. A couple of, oh, a couple of extra tones on the top there. Let's get to the leather wood. What, what's going on? Oh, that's one. We add in some of these nice brighter tones on the top here. The, uh, the brightest parts of the snow, I guess. Add that in. It will do. What if we go into this one a second and we just break up down here a little bit more? see like little random techniques just to see what can drop on there and to see if it looks all right or not um let's leave it back down to that one that one looked fine just tinkering with the sake of tinkering what's up m m and l well i also know who you are they watch they know your voice because i'm always listening to your videos and joining your live stream oh cool Well, your Christmas decks are out. Are you... Oh, God, you're just about okay. You're just about okay. Christmas stream soon. Damn. Uh, what if I was naughty and just duplicate that a second, grab that and move that off to the back there? Maybe rotate it. Maybe ever so slightly adjust the uh, the mountain shape just to be naughty and just save some time. And just a little something like that, maybe. Uh, you'd never know. You'd never know. And then create a new like. Whoa! Oh my days. What the heck? Delete. Let's delete it. Clipping mask. Also, you could argue that because this is further back, it also shouldn't have quite as bright highlights, but we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. Yeah, that looks fine. You could argue that this one's a bit brighter. I was going to say, uh, you might be a bit off your head, but it's fine. Like, you're fine. I guess it's like 
just over it's a month and two days so i guess you're fine yeah it's uh seeing the decks and stuff so well we ain't got ours up not yet i don't know when we're planning on doing ours i no doubt expect i'm gonna get like oh uh, yeah so right this weekend before we put the christmas decks up and i'll be like oh yeah can't wait can't wait can't wait I don't enjoy putting them up, I can't lie. Well, hang on, hang on. Let me actually wheel that in a little bit. Even though Mr. Crate does a lot of the work for it, like putting the, the decks up and stuff. So I, uh, yeah, I just, yeah. I hate putting ball balls on a tree, knowing that I've, I've, I've apparently done it wrong. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, there's a right way to do it and I'm not doing it the right way. But those right ways are not written in stone anywhere. It's just like this mythical thing of like what it should look like. So I just, I put them on and I know they're going to move. So I'm basically just helping them putting the tree up. Oh yeah, Thanksgiving for you guys, isn't it? Are you a Grinch? I'm not a Grinch. I love Christmas. I just can't be asked to like do all the decks and stuff. Truthfully. Great stuff. Blend that out in the background. Oh, let's actually use the correct color, I reckon, which is this one here. That gives a nice little bit of separation. Haze that out a little bit. That probably gives us a bit more space now to uh, add in the clouds and stuff. Still don't particularly like it. Do we like these mountains or not? Like these snowy mountains. I would do a pole. I just can't. I don't really want to. What do we think? <laughs> Melissa, are you talking about the ball balls? Or are you talking about the mountains? Okay, cool. I'm not 100% on them, but I think maybe I need to just come back to them at some point. They make a good YouTube video though. And then we'll do the cloud stuff again. The mountains look better with the separation. I think Melissa actually said that earlier, so I'll give credit where credit's due for that. I think it's this layer here I need to erase into this bottom area a little bit better. Yeah, see that's better now because arguably you could delete that layer. Yeah, that's better. And just sort of give the impression that only the top here is getting kissed by the sun. So you could maybe grab that tone there, the soft brush, and then just come across this top edge a little bit like that. So it's kind of just that top section getting kissed by the sun. I could maybe do that in the back as well. So like just that left hand side is just getting a little bit brighter. It's probably a little bit too hazy back there to be honest with you. But um, let's, let's delete that layer, do that again. Let's do both of them again. We'll grab this purple here and just, just in between, in the sort of bottom area here, just to separate the two. We don't want it to be too high, but just enough separation. We'll come back to this one here. We'll grab the highlight tone, which I think was this pink, in fact. And just like there's something here just blocking the bottom half. You kind of got to imagine your whole scene. What, what is it you're coming up with? So like I'm imagining then the top area there gets a nice little bit of colour. Just a couple on there, just a few. That's fine. Well, 
layer is that? Was it this one? No, it's actually the... No, it is that one a little bit that I don't like. Whoa. You're an idiot, mate. You're such an idiot. You're on the wrong layer. Let's get rid of that. Let's go back to this layer here. It's going to be a razor, the leatherwood. Yeah. Try and introduce some more contrasty areas in here, like this going over the top. Then go back to this layer here. I'm just making adjustments. Sorry. Off that. I'm just trying to see what I prefer the look of. This one looks okay like that. There's a couple of sort of streaks across, maybe like big diags in there. This one here then can do with a sort of a chop away into it. There's a layer here that I just hate and I don't know what it is. I think it's it. It's the base. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Christmas tree picks in Discord, that'd be cool. Tammy says that adds depth and definition. So it did, and I, I totally agree, but something I just didn't like, I don't like about it, and I don't know what it is. Um, it does add extra, I always say this, like for every hi highlight you add, you obviously need to add a corresponding shadow, and it does add a lot more contrast in there. It, uh, yeah, it's just not looking quite as I want it to. And it's something to do with this base shape, and I've got no idea why. Oh, wait, did I miss? I have to head out. Uh, I have to drop my dogs off at the sitter. Thank you, Marie, for hanging out. I appreciate you being here, as always. Have fun with the rest of your day. That looks a little bit better, a good chop away into there. This, I'll leave it for a minute because I'll only end up having to redo it again. Um, wait, what happened? Okay, that looks better. We'll, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Uh, where would we get to anyway? We got the front set of clouds, so this is really simple to do. Grab that 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 base color. Uh, go to elements, the clouds. We'll start off with some small clouds just in front here. We can make them a bit bigger than that. Pick and choose where we sort of press a little bit firmer here and there. The odd one that just strays a little bit higher we can sort of block them out on the left maybe and then increase that brush size up to a little bit larger maybe about 18 percent do the majority in here leaving in some darker spaces fine and then making them a bit bigger again that pretty much fills out that bottom section that's fine we move into the lighter tone we grab the biggest brush size we can well fit at that sort of this larger size here reduce that down 
sprinkling in some of the didn't like that little random drop and just the odd sort of little flick of colour towards the base I did them a lot quicker before I think I preferred the way I did it before yeah I think I did they look fine so maybe it's just literally these ones at the front here I just need to I want to create like again kind of give it that not procreate look but kind of you know let it run down into a nice solid color here which looks quite nice and then in behind these mountains we will add in some more Making it look like it's really up in the clouds. I really like that. And then do we add any right at the front up here? Like kind of on that ridge line a little bit closer maybe. It's like a little something just rolling round. Actually it's kind of nice. Sorry you guys are like seeing the screen off to the bottom edge there. Mm, that looks okay. Julie says, sorry to drop out. I think Crash has mentioned something about getting paid for donuts. No, we were talking about donuts earlier. We well, hear about, we were talking about, well, I basically went on a rant about um, donuts back in the day being so much better than they are these days. Because don't, let's hang on. I was literally about to just like roll back into that again and we're not going to do it. We're gonna. We're not gonna do it. Can't bloody Jamie Oliver. That looks better. That looks cool. I see you've been enjoying the stained glass style, Jay. Okay, I'm much happier with that. How that looks. And I again, I need to. Do you know what? Like such a hypocrite sometimes i need to listen to my own um advice you've got to trust the process and get to the end point and then see what it looks like because like these clouds and stuff running in front look so much better it adds a lot more elevation separation especially with these ones as well in the back i think it looks cool maybe the ones in the back let me add in like the tiniest little bit of light around there I try and avoid using white, but maybe just a little bit brighter in here, maybe. No, I think that's going to ruin it. Yeah, let's just roll with the, the pink colours. That looks cool. What if we go to the hue slider here and just change that sky up a little bit more? No, let's maybe try the saturation change. I always quite like a, a dropped saturation. I always think it looks quite cool. No, I'm quite happy with how sort of pastel -y that looks. Maybe even just move that up a smidge so we get a little bit more in there. And even maybe gauge and blur it. No, I quite like the separation. The separation looks actually alright. No, oh, that's cool, Jay about uh, painting the stained glass windows. It's a cool effect for sure. Um, I'm really happy with that one. Really, really happy with that one. Who was here last week for the uh, cave seaside painting design that I did? Also, this one the second time round took nowhere near as long. So that's a good thing. It's a very good thing for the tutorial. I'm kind of worried at the minute that everything I want to do is a bit longer. And I know I talk about this every week. So I apologize if you've heard this topic before. But uh, yeah, I kind of like get a bit anxious about like making them a bit too long now. Um, yeah, you know, um, I want to try and make some that are definitely going to be a bit easier to do.
Yeah, so that cave painting is going to be this week's YouTube tutorial. So if you're already a patron, you already know this, but if you were here last week, uh, that is going to be this week's YouTube tutorial. A good two hour long one, so it's, uh, it's a good one to sink your teeth in over the weekend, for sure. Uh, so if you're a patron, you can kind of I'll kind of give you an idea as well as to what's sort of coming up next month. Next month, we have the winter themed version of the cabin in the woods tutorial. So you need to complete part one if you're going to complete part two. And we have a zombie design. Um, you may have seen this a long time ago. I think I may have even did it on stream a long time ago, but it was a zombie design. Um, just like a plants versus zombies kind of zombie. That may ring a bell for a lot of you. And uh, then at the end of the month on Patreon, we have that really cool book design with the different chapters. So, um, yeah, we've got some really cool stuff coming up um, on Patreon. I'm really pleased. I cannot be more happy with how the end of this year is going in terms of designs, styles, uh, motivation, and that sort of stuff. Um, it's definitely been a nice little end to the year because, like, the. <gasps> Ouch. I cut my finger open earlier and I've just been scratching the wound on the end of my finger. So I was worried that that was about to start chucking blood out again. Um, yeah, the zombie one was ages ago, but yes, yeah, there's an awesome one coming up. Wow, so many good tutorials. Can you even put a mediocre one or two? I'm struggling. Um, I mean, I do try to vary the skill levels for sure. I think like the... Um, um, uh, the zombie one is kind of like uh, a nice in between between like all these painting styles and so is the book one to be honest the book one's probably only gonna be about 45 minutes long so it's gonna be a nice break from the larger longer tutorials I do try to um, take into consideration like this difficulty throughout the whole of the month like I don't want them all to be like painting designs constantly I don't want them all to be um, really long like i wouldn't do like two hour long tutorials all month long on youtube and stuff and not youtube and patreon especially i like patreon varies up the styles it's there's a little something for everybody and eventually over time they will um you know there'll be a good catalog there that you can pick anything in your style and maybe even build up in your sort of skill sets to the longer ones and the more detailed ones potentially but it's good for me as well i get to sort of um test my sort of uh skills as well you know try and push them to another level uh jay says i've seen your zombie one on live stream yeah that must i can't remember how long ago that was it was a while ago melissa says you've really come a long way joel uh i love all your new ideas i really appreciate it i went through a bit of a patch between september and october for a good maybe even both of those months where I was feeling very, uh, very, not burnt out. I don't think burnt out is the word because I wanted to make tutorials. I was just a bit empty with ideas up top. Um, but finding this leather wood brush, uh, which I admittedly, you know, I was watching a James Julia tutorial. Again, every day is a, uh, a school day. You can never not do tutorials and learn from other people. But um, the... It's very. It's helped me sort of create like a, a style that I quite like the look of, and um, yeah, it's cool. It's very cool. It helps a lot with unlocking like different. But we've done what's what I think is quite cool. If I was to self-evaluate my year, I was drawing mountains at the beginning of the year in a very different style with my Joel Create landscape collection brushes, and they were brushes that had a very different style to this. Whereas I feel like this style. I mean, that cave painting that's coming on Friday is like my most probably detailed tutorial or design in terms of actual like granular detail. Um, and so like what I'm trying to get at is the mountains have kind of upped their game a little bit from the start of the year, you know, they were a little bit more simplistic at the start of the year, very sort of very beautiful kind of painting style, whereas not painting streaky painting style whereas now they've got i'm trying to push them into this kind of more uh very kind of granular style of painting if that makes sense so it's cool it's fun in myself to see changes in changes in style and changes in um approaches to things 
but yeah, I was definitely running a bit low on ideas. Whereas at the minute, I'm very much happy to find a reference photo and try and paint it. And I'm very happy with doing that. Like I don't find anything wrong with that process, especially if I adjust the design how I want it into my own sort of variation with the style, it's cool. Um, and the photographs help a bunch because they have you have a reference to look at as well as not only that you can um get a good better idea for palettes and stuff like that as well which is cool um and you're loving the painting ones and you surprise yourself melissa that's awesome i'm glad that everybody else is enjoying the process along with me like i haven't had that much backlash from the tutorials at all i put out a post on instagram story to say would you complete a two hour tutorial? I got 98% of people on there from nearly 200 votes said yes, they would. On YouTube, it worked out at 96 or 5% of people, again, over 150 votes on there, uh, said they would also do a two hour tutorial. So that's fantastic. That just helps me sort of think I can do these longer ones and it be worthwhile to people. Uh, we're growing faster as art, uh, artists with those the painting tutorials. I feel like another level now creations is nice. That's awesome because that's exactly how I feel. So I'm glad that you are also feeling that way. I have uh, ideas, just not enough time of the day to draw them all, says Jay. I wish we all had enough time. I feel like artists should get like an extra day a week and just be able to like get some stuff done for sure. There is a lot that we could do extra every week. Uh, yeah, so this one I'm going to, I mean, I've got to redraw it anyway for the actual tutorial. So maybe it'll look a little bit different, but the process was good. Color wise, I think we used almost all of them. Introduce an extra one there. So they're like the base colors. Then we move into these ones. It's the highlight tones. It's okay. It worked out okay. Um, I'm sure everybody else will smash it. See, I can't draw or paint at night because it keeps my brain too active and then I'll go to bed and I'm just like painting in my head and it drives me nuts. I can't sleep. You're like asleep, but you're like, you're like just teetering over the edge. Do you know what I mean? You're just ever so slightly, um, you know, uh, ever so slightly in a shallow sleep, if that makes sense. Melissa says, subject to change, I'm super sad Dudro doesn't deliver to the US. What were you trying to get from them? Out of curiosity. And Crashman says, enjoy seeing the process too. Yeah, it is, uh, it's awesome. Asleep but thinking still. Yeah, that's kind of what you what I'm thinking of, yeah. I'm like in a very shallow sleep, but I'm still, I'm not, I'm not there, you know. I don't know why I hold you on so much on these streams. I don't go to bed for ages yet, normally. The screen protector. The glove is fantastic. I have, it's probably my favorite glove out of them, uh, merely because it has the finger um, hook here as well. So it's like a really solid fit. Uh, but screen protector, I'm, I'm really skeptical about. It's still on, but it, it feels great. It feels great. Okay, let me re let me rephrase that. I don't want to sort of put anybody off in a, in a way, um, and because I, I don't get paid for using the, uh, for using them, so it doesn't matter what I say. I could literally just call it trash and it'd be fine. But I'm I'm a tiny. The, the texture's great and it feels awesome. It does exactly what it should do. I'm skeptical as to how much wear it's giving me because I'm not sure if this will focus in on this. It might ever so slightly in a second. But the tip of my pen, this is a brand new tip. And it has already started to get very pointed and sharp. And with that, it I haven't had any problems. And I'm curious whether or not it's this screen protector. Uh, because... I don't think I've had any problems with any other ones. I'm curious, but for a completely fair 
test. I will be switching back to a paper like shortly and I will be replacing the tip on the pen to triple check whether or not these, it could be another theory that these extra additional tips are softer than the tips you get with the actual original Apple Pencil tip that comes in the box, the single one. So yeah, there's kind of like a theory to work out there or it's just simply been my drawing style recently has triggered quite a lot of uh, wear. And that's fair. That would be fair. I've been drawing quite a lot, but not as much as a whole year and a half. So something to be worked out there. But yeah, I need to I need to switch it to a paper like and I'll probably do it tomorrow um, just to see and switch out to a new, a new tip as well. Don't get me wrong, like Melissa says, that, like or maybe just a glove. The screen protector is very good. Like it is great. It does exactly what it should do. It it still has a boatload of texture on the screen, whereas sometimes with paper screen covers, the more you use it, the more you sort of shed away at that texture, and all the bumps and lumps get a bit smoother. But this one is still a beast. It's still very full of texture. So I would. You know, if that's what you're after, 100%. I'm just, I'm not sure what's caused my this second tip to damage quite so much, quite so quickly. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the reasoning is. But I, truthfully, I would recommend it. I just don't know what yet has caused this. And until I know what's caused this, trying like, you know, trying to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of trying to identify and eliminate certain reasons that it could be sort of thing exactly crash yeah they could be softer exactly because you think that like they're 20 quid for four so if you get through them quite quick if if they lasted as long as the original tip like my original tip lasted in a, over a year and a half those four tip replacements that 20 quid they should then last me six years at the same rate that i was going before so they're not going to get another 20 quid for another six years. So it would make more business sense for them to be ever so slightly softer or more fragile ever so slightly. So there's a theory there to be worked out, I guess. But we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to really chat about, really. Unless you guys have got anything you want to talk about. I'm not going to do any more drawings. I only try to do one more at the minute. Oh, f off. <laughs> yeah. I'll block this user. Gone. I'll grab you the link, Melissa, if you need it. Uh, Jay says, I prefer a paper light screen protector. I got mine on Amazon. Haven't changed it in four years. It's just too hard for me to put on. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh... <laughs> oh, guys, I cannot explain to you how kind of a bit nervous I am at this week's tutorial. I want it to do well. I'm glad that... The waterfall design is longer, an hour and a half, and this one here is going to be a lot longer. Um, it is, hang on a second, let me just show you, because I want to explain what it is. I don't, um, patrons have had sneak peek for ages. Um, let's go back. Let's go to YouTube. YouTube. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. The detail in it, in terms of the rock, and whatnot is gonna be like something that takes a little while to do um overall though i love how this came out like it just looks so kind of like delicate around the sides and kind of very rough and rigid etc um so i'm very pleased with how it came out and i hope everybody else equally loves how it looks but also you achieve the same thing that's what i'm curious is like, can it be done? And I'm pretty confident it can. The first steps are like drawing in the foundation shapes and then drawing in 
the details and the details around just the first rock frame alone i think take you to like the 50th minute mark or something um and then after that it's like then painting and the rest and stuff so i'm hoping that it'll come across nicer on camera it's looking ever so slightly brighter than what it actually looks like so just bear that in mind that it probably is a little bit lighter than that these rocks are a little bit darker um yes i saw that mountain load uh, not mountain the waterfall everybody uh, mentioned it on facebook quite a lot so um yeah i definitely found it there's some really cool variations of how it looked versus my design to like more misty versions kind of more wintry versions and stuff but also um a little bit more um like rainy i guess little rainy versions and stuff like it looked really cool and really awesome to see the differences so yeah i'm really excited for people to do this i just hope the duration doesn't take too long and stuff and whatnot and that you're happy with how it looks in terms of your final design and stuff I want to test people's ability a little bit as well um, see what people can come up with yeah the winter version is a good idea maybe I can do exactly the same thing as I'm doing for the part two of the cabin in the woods tutorial um, like the uh, cabin in the woods on patreon that part two is like taking the original design and techniques of how you can adjust the colors immediately to give a different impression and then painting in the different colors and stuff it's probably one of my favorite designs my favorite design let me show you one of my favorite designs is um on patreon and I mean, I love the cabin in the woods one. I think it looks sick. Uh, but this is one of my favorites. It's the Patreon tutorial. Um, I don't know why. I just think it's just really cool. Kind of simple, kind of fun. But like, yeah, I don't know. It uh, It's really cool. My favorite version. Remind The cave reminds you of a cave in Forza Horizon 4. Oh, cool. Yeah, Jay, you should, if you can test yourself and push just one design and then maybe sort of come back to your sort of comfort zone. Your comfort zone without even knowing it will have moved a little bit. And every time you then push yourself again, before you know it, the first time you pushed yourself is actually now your new comfort zone, if that makes sense. You just like level up without even knowing. Um, yeah, that's one of my favorite designs here on Patreon. You'll see some like double ups of stuff. This is what I'm talking about. So the mountains at the beginning of the year, I mean, we did some stuff like this. These were more like very, they were meant to be that kind of look though, you know, very like jagged, very angular, very sharp. I like it. I think it looks really cool, but compared to the mountain we just drew, it's very different. Likewise, these sort of uh, scapes and stuff like this, this beautiful streaky effect. I love it. But again, it's very different to the, um, effects that we're doing now with the leatherwood brush you know very different but it's cool it's a progression like melissa was saying it's awesome i really like it gm bob says i like that one that was the ufo one wasn't it uh last saw that message flying up uh crash Mike then says i really love the patreon patreon man uh, over there overlooking the splashing water oh yeah that's a cool one as well so another kind of like that's a more recent one isn't it the this one I don't think I just leaked anything, did I? Yeah. Do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, this one. Yeah, that one's a fun one. I really like that one as well. Let's just take a scroll back, actually, because I think it's worth looking through the 2020 designs all the way through to where we are now. I think that's such a fun idea. This was the one I was talking about. So if you were to do this tutorial, you could obviously change the two on the end to a three. All the rules still apply exactly the same way. It, you know, the tutorial doesn't matter which one you look at, but kind of cool light design. Very fun, that one. I enjoyed that one a lot. 
we moved into a very simplistic design there. The Harry Potter one, that one did good. Not as good as I was expecting it to do, but it did do very well uh, nonetheless. That's a fun one. This one I really enjoyed because it's just simple. Just simple and minimalistic and just easy. Yeah, absolutely, Crash Map. You could change that for sure. Follow exactly the same tutorial. The technique still applies. Oh, this one was one. So the, the clouds one was good. It was a fun technique, wasn't it? With the flat brush, um, like this one. That one was fun. A different style, again, but something cool to try, do something different. And again, I like this one because it's simple and minimalistic, space kind of themed, very fun and um, very nice. The clouds are a very kind of tricky technique. I think it takes a couple of change, like attempts to sort of get it right. Um, or just sort of understand the technique. It definitely takes a couple of goes. But this one, this one was probably one of the like highlights. I don't know why, but it was. It's not, again, quite as bright on the screen as it is on the stream. But this one was one of the fun ones to do this year. I really enjoyed this one. I th oh, it's got the drawing assist line through the middle, so it doesn't actually have a line. But that one was definitely one of the fun ones. And obviously, just, just in case anyone's interested, if you become a patron, we're just talking about them anyway because we were talking about progression earlier. But if you want all of these, every single one of them, when you become a patron, you get access to all of them, all 50 plus. So you get all of them all the way back to the very, very beginning, all the way back here. So uh, we've got plenty for you to do. But uh, the bonsai one, weirdly kind of a forgettable one, and I don't know why. It's simple. It's kind of fun. Pretty easy. These ones were fun. This was a kind of progression in a style this year of the um, streaky painting look. But, and we moved on to the cowboy one, arguably one of my favorites as well. I, this, this this brush looked great with the, um, um, the style of the rock work, which complemented it quite well, which looked nice. The exploding planet, nice and fun. Not lots of like movement in here by adding the perspective blur and blurring out these rocks around the outside. It kind of looks like they're shooting off, which is cool. Um, the hot air balloon, that one was a little bit longer than I expected. This one here always gets people, and I just shared this as a throwback on Instagram. People start asking, how the hell did I do the gold brush? But you need to know the tutorial to understand how that works. So yeah but this one was potentially my favorite this year maybe excluding maybe the brand new stuff but brand new stuff always feels like cool i really love this one i think maybe that could have actually done with a little bit of darkness underneath there that looks like it sits a bit too easily on top of the water but it looks cool I like that there's a light source without having to see the light source. Like there's no like rounded circle here to show the sun. One of my favourites. And the techniques that we used in the painting in here look really cool. This sort of streaky look. And this looks cool being blurred out. Uh, the 3D abstract face one. That's kind of cool. So that's like one version of it where it's actually like 3D. And I think the other one was showing you how to make this kind of effect. Um, in Patreon, in Patreon, in Procreate. Oh, the micro world, that was cool. That was my first micro world. That one was really fun, really cool. I had a lot of hope for this one to do well and it did. I was very pleased with this one. Very fun, very cool, different concept that a lot of people hadn't done before or heard of. So yeah, it's cool. Very, very cool. Uh, we then moved into the Snowy Mountains tutorial. Okay, good. I mean, I like them all. I think I'm a bit too critical of myself. I like them all, but um, yeah, 
this was a, a, a practice really for the shallow depth of field and the snowy high brush. The mountain though looks really cool. I keep seeing use the word cool, but it looks very detailed, looks very on point. I really like the little effects that I added on the ridge line as well. That one was nice. The hot air balloon dog. This one was really uh, aesthetically, weirdly one of my favorites as well, because I think it's just the gold against the sketch, the sketch looking very 2D. And then this side here with it's like metal 3D, very completely different look to that side. That's really, really cool. That, this one was awesome. I really like this one. Just simple as well, you know, kind of simple that it's, uh, there's not, there's no background content. It's just a feather. I really love the feather, but it's frustrating. It's frustrating me getting it right. Is that which side? The sketch side or the gold side? The sketch side. Okay, got you. Yeah, it probably takes a couple of technique, uh, a couple of goes really, I would imagine, to nail that side down. What else did we move into next? Oh, the lantern design. That was just done by yourself, Melissa, wasn't it? The pineapple one. Oh, the realism of the bird painting. That was a that was fun because that was a completely different style to any tutorial I'd done before of creating a sketch of the bird and duplicating it. And that's the painted one and that's the real one and it's fun to see that style come about hmm. didn't do as well as i hoped it would do but i'm really pleased it's in the catalog definitely there for someone who wants to maybe try a different style like uh, trying to replicate realism i guess yeah Good little tester, that one. The UFO, we've seen the neon one. That was a throwback kind of one because I did that one ages ago, a long, long time ago. Very good one. Oh, oh this one was really cool. This was actually like suggested by a friend. It was like, we we're actually at the zoo and there was like peacocks everywhere. And I was like, oh, you should draw one of those. And I was like, oh yeah. And they always joke about like, oh yeah, all you draw is neon. I was like, wait, a neon peacock? I was like, that'd be sick. And then it kind of like turned into this, which is really, interesting to use the pattern as the the light source um we then move into uh that sunrise the saturn one uh the window one oh this might be my favorite this year actually i don't know what it is about it i, I don't know i just don't know what it is about it but it might be my favorite it might be you might not be, you might be, it's in the, let's not put a favourite, let's just give it like um, in the top five, vaguely, in the top five. Now let me just switch the camera around in case we just accidentally sort of show you anything else that's not yet released. Um, now the cabin in the woods tutorial, this one was really fun, something for me to sort of stretch my skills set out a little bit, do something a little bit different. Kind of the same rules as of what I've taught you guys loads of times in terms of like blurring background. It's not, in, we're not interested in background. You should never be interested in background too much. It's just filler. What is the main content? It is the cabin. This like area down here came out really fun, really cool with the, the breakout between the grass and the path. Like little bits of like this area here look nice. The stream and stuff. I loved the lighting, how that like came about and adding in the light rays so that's what it looked like before much darker and then just adding the light rays in to just send them through the trees into this area focus the user's attention where we want it that's awesome the thing is julie whenever you should ever come back um they'll all be there so uh, you got all of them to catch back up with if you want them 
yeah, the cabin one is 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 definitely it's going to push your like skill set. But if you want to improve, of course, you you have to sometimes take that little sort of daring step. Even for myself to paint something like that in a tutorial is quite you know quite different. Um. So yeah, there's that one. Let's flick back. Let's go flick back and. The padlock was also a bit of a throwback. I did that ages ago. I did that on stream. People love this one. This has got hundreds of likes and stuff and like Facebook groups and stuff in terms of the reel and whatnot. And um, yeah, people really like it. I don't know if it's just the way the reel was chopped up. That's sometimes like a factor. But yeah, this one did really well. Really, really well. I'm glad you're enjoying them, Melissa. I really am. I'm glad like you've taken a break for a little while, but then you've come back and you're like hitting the road like hard, and uh, you you've got the the fact that you can. What I find is a really interesting mindset sometimes is the concept that you would you can be really involved in a not you personally, but someone can be really involved in a hobby or a space for like and really dive into it really hard, and then if you take a break, sometimes when you come back those bits of content no longer really interest you anymore so like you can follow a creator of any sort tech cars whatever it don't really matter but then when you come back maybe that creator doesn't really do it for you anymore you know like or their style changed in a way or anything like that but for you to come back and be smashing out the tutorials is awesome for me because i know i'm still doing a good job but also that you know the content's fresh enough that you coming back you're not just seeing the same as you did before and think, well, you're enjoying them and moving forward, which is sick. And then, <sighs> I love this. And then obviously Tuesday's tutorial as well. Using a little bit of this leatherwood, a little bit, I mean, there's tons of it, but a little bit of this leatherwood as well. Uh, Crash Matt says the cabin one surprised me so much. I never believed I was going to turn out that good. It really pushed me, and I'm thankful for it. That's the thing. I don't think there's anything more rewarding than pushing yourself and then realizing you're actually capable of doing that, which makes you think, why didn't I do that before? It's like going to the gym and just doing the same weight every time, not realizing that you've gained more strength, and then not going up a weight set. And when you do, you're like, oh. I can do this. I never thought I could. And do you know what I mean? And then you're like, you're you're moving up again, and then you'll get stronger and stronger. And it's the same with drawing, isn't it? Like you push yourself with that heavier weight, and then you know that becomes easier next time. Just the same way. Just like I guess it's like everything in life. But with art, I think it's definitely quite important because you can get stuck in a rut. But again, I've said this loads of times. There is absolutely nothing wrong with like people not ever wanting to draw their own things or ever wanting to you know like, like i said draw their own things or not moving in a different direction if you're happy doing what you're doing and you get fun and enjoyment out of it then that's all that matters you don't have to push yourself if you think you want to push yourself you should do it out of your own curiosity not feel a pressure to do so if you're curious that could i do this that's when you should do it but if you have no desire in that way to do it and you're just happy to follow along with the easier ones, that's all you should ever do. Just do what makes you happy. That's all you want to do. And I appreciate that, Jay, that like taking a break is hard to get back into it for sure. That's also why I've just kept my head down all year and just carried on doing tutorials even when I felt a bit burnt out because I know if I take a break, maybe I might come back to this and be like, not really enjoying this YouTube thing anymore, but I'd love it. So I'm trying to avoid that scenario ever coming up. Uh, Crash the Deer one is awesome to use. said about to finish it. Yeah, it's such a good feeling stepping back and seeing it all come together. I'm, I'm really, really pleased you guys always feel like this. It makes it all really worthwhile. I think sometimes people don't realise the feedback, how much it really does affect you as a person and your your work because otherwise you're just chucking content out there and hoping for the best but to hear people actually comment and say loved it feels great to have done this thank you kind of thing it's awesome 
I love it. And that's why I'm always complimenting people on their work when I see it or just commenting or just letting you know and sharing some love because, yeah, it's uh, reciprocated. Ah, God, I really want to show you next month's tutorials, but I can't. So I've got to wait. You've got to wait. We'll have a little bit of patience. There's so many times where I'm like, well, I'll send a sneak peek out now. And I'm like, yeah, but then you've got nothing to show on Monday or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I just want to share it now kind of thing. Also, I feel like Procreate's really, weirdly, a very seasonal... Um, hobby i see such an upturn in views uh followers etc in the winter season so the end of the year i don't know if it's winter for everybody everywhere but you know here in the winter season i think people are going back indoors again you know want to do something while they're stuck indoors so it's really cool that there's a bit of an uptake and people will come back so i think if people come back I'm, i will see maybe people come back yearly whether or not they'll be able to get back in the groove again and again and again kind of thing crash says i showed my nan Jo, and she like and she's like i loved that as a canvas so cute they were dead proud though oh i'd love that as a canvas oh that's awesome well if you get it printed you send me commission and we'll call it splits just to your nan though just to your nan Exactly, Melissa, exactly. Exactly. That's so cool. You sent me some toenails. Yeah, as long as they're the American ones. I want to be high by the time I finish them. Right, let's wrap it up, shall we? We've had a really good stream. Let's actually flick the... Uh, so back to the one we drew today, which was this one here. Um, do you know what? Actually, seeing this again as a fresh comeback from it from the other ones, I'm really pleased with how it actually came out. I think uh, Crash Mart's exactly true earlier by saying I hate it always as we're going through the process, but towards the end, I really like it. So, no, I'm happy with that. That'll be nice to put together. Get that recorded tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Friday. Friday ready for the week after, probably. Maybe it might go on Patreon for Feb, January. I don't know yet. I don't know. It's in the archive, ready to go. But yeah, good fun stream as always, guys. I really appreciate everyone hanging out. Again, I said this to Mrs. Create as well earlier, that you guys obviously wanted to spend some time with me on, uh, on your Wednesdays, wherever you are, whether you're at work, it's your evening or whatever you're going to bed or you just need someone boring to listen to as you make your way to sleep and um i really appreciate you guys always hanging out with me and um it's great to see people coming back like melissa as well and also consistent people that are always here as well as you know who you are if you're here consistently sort of thing and it's great it's great to have familiar faces pop in and out throughout the year yeah guys if you could drop a like on the video that'd be amazing Keep an eye out for the tutorial on Friday. Obviously, book some time off if you need to for it because it is long. But uh, yeah, it's great. Great to have everybody here as always. I love doing these live streams and hanging out with you on this Wednesday. So enjoy the rest of your day, evening, afternoon, morning, whatever you're getting up to for the rest of the day. I'll see you again next week. And yeah, that's it. Have fun doing whatever you're drawing this week. Peace.